in this JavaScript tutorial, I'll go over for each method uh, of an array. Uh, for each method executes uh, a provided function each time for every element of the array. So, for example, I have my array uh, variable which contains an array which has the values of red, green, blue, and purple. So, let's say if I want to loop out and display each of the values, you can do like uh, my array dot for each. And then inside this uh, for each parenthesis, you will need to provide a function. So, uh, here I'll write function and then in these parentheses that you see in the red color here uh, I'll write uh, my element I mean doesn't matter what you name it uh, whatever the first parameter is in this function it will contain the value of the for, uh, index that's being iterated over so this will be the body of the function between the curly braces so let me also separate that to make it more readable and then inside the body I'll just print out uh, the current element my element and I'll also add a break to make it more readable so my array for each uh, will run this function for every item in this array and each time uh, whatever item it's going over it'll put inside this my element and then right here I'm printing out the my element so let's view this in the browser it should display red green blue and purple As you can see here, it display red, green, blue, and purple. Now, let's say if you also wanted the index of the array, you can provide a second uh, parameter here, which will always have the index that is being looped over. So I'll put uh, my index, and then here I'll also print that out my index, followed by a space, and then the element. So it should display, the first index will be 0, 1, 2, and 3. So it should display 0, red, uh, 1, green, and so on. So let's save this and refresh, as you can see here. Now there's also a third uh, parameter you can pass, which is the array itself. And this will be the entire array that's being uh, looped over with the for each function. So basically, in whenever you have a for each in this anonymous function, whatever your uh, first parameter name is, that will contain the value. The second parameter will contain the index, and the third parameter will be the array. So to display, I'll just do the array here. And it should print out the array about four times. So if you refresh, as you can see here. So each loop, uh, this had the value of the element, uh, array. And then this has the index of the element. And then this had the entire array. I mean, you're, it's not required to give all three. You can give uh, either the first only one uh, parameter which will then just contain the value or two which will have the first as the value and the second as the index or all three so that's pretty much it for for each uh, method of an array if you have any questions or comments do leave a comment if you like this video then remember to subscribe thank you